What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. This video is gonna be all about tires. Now, most of you guys know from watching all my past videos that one of my most favorite things to do is get in my two-wheel drive Volkswagen van again and head out into the backcountry, hit some dirt roads, and just explore the open territory of this country that we live in. One of the things that makes that absolutely possible is the installation of a good set of all-terrain tires. But of course, like anything else in this world, there's always a huge debate of, well, what's the best brand? What's the best model? Which one's better for doing whatever you wanna do? And that's one thing I want to do in this video is get down to the nitty gritty and compare a set of BFG KO2 tires, which I've had installed on this van for the last four years. Tomorrow, I'm installing a set of General Grabber ATX all-terrain tires. And I'm gonna give you guys a first-hand view of the comparison of what's gonna be better tire. few things that we're going to be looking at is the ride, the look of the tires and comparing how they look to the BFG overall handling and then we'll get them out into some dirt road and see how the ride is on dirt roads and how they handle with grip. The KO2 tires have a great lug design to them. They're nice and aggressive on the outside. The tread pattern is nice and deep and aggressive and it, all trains are designed to give you the best of all worlds. Maybe not the best in mud, but you know what? When you get out on the highway, you've got a nice comfortable tire that's gonna handle almost anything that you throw at it. Snow, ice, sand, gravel, etc. And by no means have I had any bad experience with my BFG tires. They have been excellent tires. They do live up to their name. Uh, however, they do come at a premium. This particular BFG tire that I'm running right now is a 225. 75 R16. Now the prices are going to fluctuate a little bit depending on what size you're getting into, but these KO2 tires for me to replace them come down to about $220 per tire. That's a pretty hefty price, but they say you're paying for that BFG premium name and it is a brand to be trusted. However, I'm on a little bit of a budget right now and I really needed to look at some different options that were out there. Another popular tire that I hear people running on these rigs are the General Grabber ATX series of tires. Looking at the price line on those tires, you're looking at about $117 a tire. And when you look at replacing all four tires, that's a pretty significant savings. I figured, heck, why not? Let's invest into a set of four General Grabber ATX tires and save myself some money, hopefully answer some questions for you guys, the same question that I had, BFG versus General Grabber tires. Now, one thing that I thought I would do while I was at it is explain to you a little bit about why I went with the setup that I've got on my particular van. On my particular setup, I went with the Go Westy 1.5 inch lift springs. And you know what? I'm always one that wants to push the limits and that just wasn't high enough for me. So I wanted to see about putting some oversized tires on there. Now typically they say about a 215-70 R16 is about the max that you want to go on that before you start running into uh, clearance issues and you don't want to go higher than 1.5 inches on your suspension lift because then you deal with not being able to get your alignment within spec. So that's why I took the front suspension just a little bit further and put actually a 3 8 inch spacer at the top of my spring that actually gets me quite a bit more height out of my front suspension and that allows me to run the bigger 225-75 R16s. Now in order to keep my alignment within spec, what I had to do was install the Burley Motorsport upper A-arms and those actually allow you the extra added uh, adjustment to be able to get your alignment within spec. Alignment is absolutely key, especially when you're making an investment into a good set of tires. Now, why did I want to push the size of my tire so much? Well, when it comes to driving on off-road and rolling over terrain, whether it's 
medium sized rocks or potholes or larger boulders or anything, the bigger the diameter tire that you've got, the easier that it's gonna actually roll over that terrain. And that's why I wanted as, as big a tire as possible. And I tell you what, that has probably been one of the biggest differences that I've noticed in my setup here once I went from stock tire size to this was it just ate up dirt roads, which I absolutely loved. Now one of the other key factors that I really paid attention to on making the decision between these two tires is the load rating. Now not that I'm getting into a heavy load on this, it's not a pickup truck to where I'm going to be towing stuff or putting stuff in the bed, but one thing to remember is that Vanigans are particularly heavy vehicles and you don't want to go with a passenger tire on there. The BFG tires that are currently on there do have a 10 ply rating which means it's got a very very strong stiff sidewall which yes that is a plus when it comes to off-roading and hitting different debris and rocks uh, you're gonna have a much better protected sidewall that is definitely a plus of a 10 ply tire however the ride becomes pretty darn stiff the other thing is the amount of weight of what each tire weighs going with a 10 ply adds a lot more weight the weight is going to bring down your gas mileage. The General Grabber ATXs, they actually have an XL load rating, about equivalent to a six ply, not as stiff as a sidewall. So in comparing to the BFGs, it looks to be about 10 pounds lighter per tire, which is quite a bit of weight for the already underpowered motor of a Vanagon. The other thing that I'm looking forward to checking out is the ride of the six ply tires. Now, while the BFGs do ride exceptionally well, I did notice when I got those on there that you really pick up the cracks in the road or deteriorated road where you got the, the cracks in the pavement and maybe chunks missing out of the pavement. It definitely seems to be more jarring. So I'm curious to see if these General Grabber ATXs are actually going to be a softer ride. And especially when it comes to bombing down a dirt road and when it comes to washboard or heavier rocks, if uh, that softer sidewall just kind of soaks some of that up. So alright, tire shop coming up next. Here we are on the initial road test of the General Grabber ATX tires and I have to say the second that I backed it out of the garage at the tire shop and started driving across the parking lot I could already feel a difference to the old KO2 tires. The General Grabbers just automatically right off the bat had a smooth nice ride even across the parking lot and what I'm feeling now as I'm driving down the road it's just a much smoother, almost a quieter ride. It's almost like you're riding on pillows maybe instead of two by fours. Uh, 
Now, of course, that can go both ways. If your ride is too soft, then you lose some handling. But initially, I took off down a very windy road to get a good sense of how it's going to handle. And I've got to say, it's a good compromise. Uh, it doesn't handle as tightly as what the BFGs did, but I've got to say the ride is definitely much smoother, much quieter. The softer sidewall of the grabbers are definitely soaking up the road surface. Whereas with the BFG and the stiffer sidewalls, those differences in the road surface really translated through the tire and into the ride of the vehicle. As you guys can hear here inside the van, dirt roads are definitely a lot more bumpier. And this particular road is extremely bad when it comes to washboards. Washboards are probably your worst enemy when it comes to a comfortable ride down a dirt road. But a couple things that you can do to overcome that is A, like I mentioned before, the oversized tires are going to be able to roll over that stuff and take away a lot of that chatter. Now the one thing that you can do even beyond that is you can actually lower the PSI in your tire when you hit the off-road. By taking your tire pressure down to 20 PSI or even 15 PSI, that really will give you a couple of different advantages. A, it's going to give you much, much better traction in slippery surfaces, whether it's gravel, sand, snow, mud. It gives you a bigger surface, more traction. The other thing it's gonna do is it's gonna soften your ride dramatically. And a lot of that chatter that you hear in the van, a lot of that's gonna go away and you're gonna be able to make good time across a rough dirt road all by airing down the PSI and the tires. Well, so far on the initial off-road test, just driving up a rough dirt road, I would say that there's probably not a ton of difference between the two tires. Um, maybe a little bit less chatter because of the softer sidewalls. Uh, initially, the tread compound on the grabber seems a little bit softer, so that might actually end up being a little bit of a plus when it comes to slippery surfaces and whatnot. So overall, not a huge difference because the BFGs were actually usually pretty good in situations like this, but my main concern is the fact that I certainly don't feel like I lost anything uh, by going with the less expensive grabber when it comes to off-road performance. And that was my number one concern. By saving myself a little bit of money, I certainly didn't want to take away any sort of performance. And thus far, with off-road testing and a little bit of on-road testing, I certainly don't feel like I've gone backwards. That is definitely a plus. Now, obviously it's gonna be impossible to be able to tell how these things will hold up over a long period of time, uh, but hopefully with some follow-up videos in the future, we can check in and see how these general grabbers are actually holding up through the test of time. Nonetheless, I would say I am very, very happy with the tires. I certainly don't feel like I've gone backwards by saving some money, and that is a good thing. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure and hit the subscribe button so that you get more videos like this and more information and adventures about living in a van. If you guys like this video and you found it helpful, make sure and give it a thumbs up down below. That helps get these videos out to the masses. And for everybody else that's been part of the channel, thank you so much for all of you guys' support. I really appreciate it. Guys, peace out. Keep on trucking.